Hi everyone, I am Susan Jacob and in this video I am going to show you some cases of white cataract phagoemulsification. So the first case is just going to show you uh, the problems that can happen while doing rexes with a leaking morgagnon. So you can see that uh, I first go in and inject trypan blue to stain the capsule and then replace the trypan blue with viscoelastic. Now, as soon as I make that entry into the uh, capsule, you can see that milky fluid that comes out. So what we do here is to decompress the eye before performing the rexus anymore by aspirating part of that milky fluid out of the capsula bag. You can see all of it come out. This also uh, helps clear the view once more and if required, the antechamber can be washed out in order to get a clear view of the rexus once more. Staining helps a lot in these cases because uh, there is no red reflex to go by. Uh, and you can see that you may often have to shift to a uh, forceps in order to be able to complete the rexus successfully. Now the next case that I'm going to show you is that of a traumatic white cataract and uh, these cataracts may uh, occur following penetrating or blunt trauma. If the surgery is performed soon after trauma, it may be composed either of only soft flocculent lens material or it may have an endonucleus depending on the patient's age. So you can see that I have stained the capsule with trypan blue. This is a young patient who suffered trauma and therefore uh, I have problems with my rexes trying to run out partly because of the elastic nature of the anterior capsule and also partly because of the flocculent lens material increasing the intralenticular pressure. So you can see as I continue trying to do this with a 26 gauge needle the rexes is starting to go outwards. At this point I uh, try and aspirate that flocculent lens material as I had done in the previous case of a King Mogagnin and uh, you can see that even though I did try that there's not much of that milky fluid that has come out at all and that does not help in decompressing the the intralenticular pressure. So what I do instead is now put uh, uh, fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic and then use a uh, uterata forceps to complete the rexus and you can also see that at all points my uh, direction of uh, pull of the uh, rexus forceps is inwards. Now I've almost completed the rexus and I've reached the edge However, in that terminal portion, I am facing difficulty in being able to connect it to the uh, starting point. And uh, since I am worried that this will end up becoming a wrap around tear, I finally give up and then go ahead and cut that tag, that final tag of attachment of the capsule uh, to the rest of the bag uh, with a Vanna scissors. Once I have completely uh, 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 cut off that tag there is a break in the rexus and I have to be careful I did a very very gentle uh, multi-quadrant focal hydro dissection without really uh, putting any pressure on the capsule and once that is done you can see that the lens material is so soft that I've removed uh, it completely using only the IA probe. So when you do uh, cortex aspiration from the area where the capsule is broken you can see that I left it for the last and also uh, you use lower uh, vacuum settings when you are uh, removing the cortex in the area where the excess is not intact. The lens is finally implanted carefully into the back and uh, that's the end of the case. The next case is again another interesting case. It's a memory membranous white cataract. These cataracts can occur either congenitally or post-trauma and uh, there is either partial or complete resorption of the cortex and a flattened membranous capsule is generally seen. So you can see that I am trying to make that initial nick on the anterior capsule. However, there is a calcified plaque over the anterior capsule and I am forced to take a vanna scissor and cut that uh, plaque to get an initial opening into the anterior capsule. As soon as I do that, you can see some liquefied material coming out of the lens. Now as I, I try to remove that liquefied material, you can see that the cortex, the white color of the cataract is clearing up spontaneously which means that it is almost completely filled uh, with cortex and uh, once it has been drained even without opening that nick on the anterior capsule further you can see that the entire contents of the capsular bag have been evacuated. So I go ahead now and uh, try to complete my rexus. Uh, the, the capsule is again elastic capsule and so I have to be careful that it doesn't run out into the periphery. You can also visualize the uh, plaque uh, separating out and the uh, capsular uh, rexus margin tearing separately beneath the beneath the plaque. So the tear is almost completely uh, finished except for that last tag which is then joined with the starting point. So once that is done there is very minimal cortex that uh, is there in the periphery and these can be gently removed using just capsule polishing mode if required and the lens is finally implanted into the bag. Thank you so much for watching.
please watch my youtube channel for this and more videos on white cataract phaco emulsification as well as other learning videos for phaco emulsification for beginners as well as complex cases thank you so much